Hi friends, welcome back. As a part of the um, Oracle learning procedure, let's uh, take this session to see how to start up and shut down an Oracle database. So first thing we have to find out whether uh, our database is up and running. We can check that by giving the command ps hyphen eif pipe grep smon. From here you can find out that there is an instance called prime is available up and running with a process ID 8774 and the user who started the uh, ASM started the instance is Oracle and also we can see that there is an ASM one instance is running. Now let's uh, to connect to the database let's uh, set up the environment variable the variables we have to set is Oracle sit name the Oracle home and the LD library path. Oracle provides Oracle software provides a, a simple script that is uh, Aura ENV script. Once you are executing that uh, that script, Oracle will automatically set all the environment variables for us to connect. So this Aura ENV will be uh, created or will be copied to uh, the uh, user local bin directory or the local user uh, uh, bin directory when we are running the root data search. For example, which Aura ENV. You can see that the Aura ENV script is copied to user local bin. So because it's copied to user local bin, any user will be able to call the Aura ENV script. So we can call the Aura ENV script by giving the command dot space Aura ENV. It is going to ask you the SID name or the instance name. We will be giving us prime. Okay. Now we can see that it has set the Oracle home as well as the oracle base now once this is set and it's also set the oracle um, SID for example echo oracle underscore SID which says it's prime and also echo dollar oracle underscore home spelling mistake is there echo dollar Oracle underscore home, which says why should slash db home is the Oracle home directory, and also it set the path variable as well. So we can just connect to the database by using the SQL plus command. Now to start up and shut down the database, we should be connecting to the database with the sysdb privilege. So here we'll be connecting to the database either as uh, or uh, there are two methods in which you can connect either by using the OS authentication or by using the database authentication. Here when I give the command connect um, username then I give slash as sysdba that means I am trying to connect to the database with the OS level authentication. Okay, It is not asking me any password. Now exit from here the same thing I'll be connecting to the database with using the Oracle or the uh, database authentication at that time I'll give sys slash Oracle where the Oracle is the password of the uh, sys user as sysdba I'll be connected to the database once connected to the database we can see the status of the database or at which at which stage the database is opened by giving the command select open underscore mode from v dollar database the database is in red red mode now we can shut down the database in different options one of the option will be shut down normal the other one is shut down immediate other one is uh, shut down about and then shut down transactional in the case of the shutdown normal the existing connections will be allowed to continue as long as they want that means the existing connection connected users can complete their transaction they can start another transaction or at least not going to stop it but all the new connections are prevented in the case of shutdown normal in the case of the shutdown immediate what happens that all the connections will be terminated Im immediately but Oracle will do a checkpoint so that all the modified buffer will be returned to the data file so that once you restart the database after a shutdown immediate Oracle need not do any kind of instance recovery 
shutdown abort is going to just just like a power uh, failure where which oracle will not be doing any checkpoint so that indicates that the use the database will undergo a process called instance recovery once the database is com comes back after the shutdown abort shutdown transaction is the other method wherein which when you issue the shutdown um, transactional no user new users will not be allowed to connect and the existing users will be disconnected from the session once the current transaction what they are doing is completed am i clear so now we will be seeing how to do the shutdown uh, different modes of the shutdown so i'll take one example and i'll i'll do that one so i'm going to give the command shutdown immediate if i want to give a shutdown um, normal i can just give the sh command shutdown if i want to give the shutdown about i can just give the command shutdown about and if i want to give the um, command shutdown uh, 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 transactional i can issue the command shutdown transactional okay so here what we will do that we will be uh, take another example where which we will be uh, connecting to the database and see we'll see what happens okay i'll give the command shutdown which is going to shut down normal now i can see that the shutdown command is uh, taking more time and the user can do some activity let me let me try whether i can connect a system user and create a table I could create the table. That means the shutdown uh, normal is not going to prevent the existing users to do their activity. Now let me exit from here and see what happens on the other screen. Database is closed, and the database is dismounted, and the user gets disconnected. now the um, database is shut down let me just um, quickly start up the database of course i'll be explaining about the database startup procedure probably in the next video now the database is up now let's connect it to the uh, the database from another session that i'll be giving the same system and oracle okay clear the screen now shut down immediate okay now let me try to create a table create table my tab name where can 2 of 100 it says a connection lost contact now if i'm coming back here i can see that the database is down that means shutdown immediate will kill that all the existing connections immediately and internally it issues a checkpoint so that all the modified data will be returned back to the data files so that after the uh, once the database comes back there is no need for any media recovery or or any instance recovery is required and the database is a consistent database now let's exit and try to start up the database start up database coming into the no mount stage database mounted and database open here you can see that there was not much delay between the mount stage and open stage that means there was no instance recovery took place okay now again i'll be connecting to the database from another session and then clear the screen so that we'll be able to okay 
now come go back to the second screen and then issue the command shutdown about you guys that instance came down there was no uh, it didn't go through the stages like dismounting of the database or or um, dismounting of the uh, the instance nothing is happening it's just terminated the instance so it's just like a power of where in which no uh, instant no no checkpointing is taken taken place all the modified data uncommitted data is was there on the um, uh, log buffer lost I mean, which are the uncommitted all the com committed data which was there on the um, uh, read log on the database buffer cache was lost so what happens is to make the database consistent once the database comes back it has to undergo the recovery known as instance recovery which reapply the changes recorded on the online rudo log files Here you can see that the difference in the time delay between the mount stage and the open stage is another criteria. So let me connect to the database here on the second uh, this one. Let me connect to the database. Okay, now on the from the uh, first uh, screen, I'll be just issue the command create. table my tab name where can two of hundred already there is a table so let's utilize that particular table let's insert a few records to the table insert into my tab values 200 I'll insert a few records, but I have not given the commit. Now, let me issue the command shutdown transactional from the other node. So it is waiting. It is waiting till I issue a commit or rollback. Okay. So let me give a commit over here. Okay. Committed. So that my transaction is completed. Let me again try to insert into this particular table and see what happens it says that connection lost and if you are coming over here you can see the database is down so that means shutdown transaction will allow the database to complete or the I uh, allow the connected users to complete their current transaction and once that transaction is completed then the instance will be t the database will be dismounted and the instance will be terminated hope uh, this session of um, the shutting uh, of, the, of, of uh, uh, shutdown of the database is clear for you guys is there any uh, queries or clarification other than you can um, approach me on the email address which is mentioned at the end of the video. Thank you.